Okay, good morning, uh, good people and believer anywhere. Welcome back to my channel, uh, Turansam again. Currently, my title is about uh, the value of honor and self-respects based on Imam Ali's quotes. He said that uh, in our humiliations is not compensated for by a lifetime of honors. So please stay tuned with me. You'll get lessons, inspiration, and motivation facing life turbulence. By the way, honor and dignity are two of the most cherished values in human society. Throughout this story, individuals have strived to live honorable lives, building reputations that reflect integrity, kindness, and respect. And Imam Ali emphasized the intrinsic value of honor and how essential it is to self-respect and personal growth, personal worth. I mean, so he warned agent in situations that could compromise the sense of honor, famously stating, "And how war of humiliations is not compensated by a lifetime of honor." So. Uh, the quote highlights that while honor may take years to build, it can be shattered in a single moment of disgrace. And Imam Ali's words serve a reminder to safeguard our dignity and avoid actions that may lead to regret. So, what is the lasting impact of humiliations? Uh, Humiliations by nature is deeply personal and emotionally scaring, unlike other forms of harm which may fade over time. The sting, the sting of humiliation can last, impacting one's sense of self-worth and reputation. Imam Ali recognized this by placing emphasis on the consequences of such experiences. Cautioning that the same of pain from even a brief moment of humiliation may endure far longer than any lifetime of honor. So this insight suggests that while honor can often be public and celebrated, the private anguish of humiliation can resonate more powerfully within. Affecting mental and emotional well-being, the pain of humiliation is often intensified because it attacks one's core's sense of self, leading to lingering self-doubt, anxiety, and mistrust. So, what is the ripple effects of humiliation in society? Yeah, let's see together. Okay. Humiliations is not limited to personal feelings. It is has broader societal effects as well. So when someone experiences a moment of public disgrace, it can lead to a breakdown in relationships, trust, and social bonds. And Imam Ali's teachings also imply that the Treating others with respect is crucial uh, to maintaining a healthy and just society. He taught that the most dishonorable act is to humiliate another. So this quote indicates that causing humiliation in others is an act that ultimately dis degrades the one who inflicts it. Showing the dishonor in mistreating others, so those who contribute to another person's humiliation weaken the fabric of mutual respect within a community, contributing to a cycle of resentment and negativity. So, how to guard, uh, guarding, uh, how to guard uh, agent situations that compromise dignity? Uh, one of the ways to preserve our honor, according to Imam Ali's wisdom, is by guarding agents circumstances that might lead to humiliations. So, while we may not 
control our situations, being mindful of our associations, words and actions can reduce our exposure to moments of potential shame. And Imam Ali emphasized self-awareness and caution in social interactions. In statement, act with integrity for every action is a mirror of your character. And living with integrity, honesty, and humility fosters self-respect and strengthen our differences against situations that could result in embarrassment or loss of dignity. And by being deliberate in our choices and maintaining moral principles, we safeguard our sense of honor and avoid the regret that comes from actions that may compromise our dignity. So, what about the power of forgiveness and letting go of humiliations? Uh, do you, uh, are you aware? So, guys, uh, what is the impact of power forgiveness? Uh, and letting go of humiliations uh, based on Imam Ali's statement about humiliation warns of its severe impact. He also advised on forgiveness and resilience as ways to mitigate its effects and humiliation can be difficult to overcome but practicing forgiveness both towards ourselves and others can help alleviate the emotional scars. When Imam Ali taught that forgive others' faults, for we all bear weaknesses. So this perspective encourages resilience in the face of humiliation and reminds us that everyone is prone to mistakes and moments of shame. And by embracing forgiveness, allows us to move forward without letting painful experiences uh, define our lives and in doing so we can reclaim our dignity and focus on building a life filled with respect and compassion so choosing kindness of elimination is the best choice why because imam ali's teaching also highlights the importance of actively avoiding the illumination of others and while we protect our dignity we are also called to protect the dignity of others and his advice to treat others with kindness and respect reflects a broader empathetic view of honor and by choosing kindness we prevent adding to the world's humiliation and and instead contribute positively to others' sense of self-worth. To honor others is to honor oneself. So this lesson promotes a cycle of respect and mutual dignity. And when we choose to uplift others rather than humiliate, we build a society that values and protects each individual self-respect, such actions reflect well on our character and create a legacy of respect that is far more enduring than temporary gain made at other expense. So finally, a life of honor guided by empathy and integrity based on Imam Ali's wisdom on honor and humiliation teaches that the dignity is a precious treasure one that should be protected not just for ourselves but also for our for others and while it takes years to build a life of honor a single act of humiliation whether inflicted upon us or upon others can leave lasting damage his teaching remind us of the importance of cultivating integrity, humility, and kindness in every interaction. And by choosing to live with honor and compassion, we not only protect our dignity, but also help create a more respectful and just world. Imam Ali's words serve a timeless reminder that true honor lies in how we treat us ourselves and those around us. For in doing so, we elevate both our own lives and the lives of others. So, 
smart people, good people, and believe for how you practice the quote of Imam Ali about uh, emulations, uh, humiliation, uh, the value of honor and self-respect yeah, in your daily life, as your habits, your character, uh, facing uh, life obstacles. Yeah. Thanks for your watching, thanks for your uh, sharing uh, and subscribing also. I find nice life and enough life based on Hamid teaching. I find things uh, more. Uh, see you again. Bye bye.